Hello everyone. So welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to create a photo collage like like this what you're looking at right now. So if you look at this, this is very simple to do in Corel Draw. These are just combination of drop shadows, power clip and then breaking breaking the power clip apart. So let's uh Let's uh, let's see what are the steps here. So I, I got this, I got the source image here and here's what we're going to do. So so basically I'm going to hit F4 first to put it onto the screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a square. So in order to create a square, you just have to go to a rectangle tool and then you click, uh, you hold down control. So hold down control and then uh, click and drag right and then let's say I'm just going to see if yeah so basically that's that's the size of the the square so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put this uh, like an outline so I'm going to right mouse click on this one to put a white outline <clears throat> and then I'm going to randomly you know put this put this on on the area of the face but well, first of all, I have to lock this because sometimes this is annoying because I might like move it. So I click on the image and then right mouse click and then you go to lock. So locking the image will, you know, will prevent you on moving the object. But but later on, we're going to unlock that. So here we are going to just randomly, uh, so I'm going to duplicate this. So plus sign in your keyboard to duplicate and then I'll just move it here. And then rotate it. So in rotating the uh, uh, an object, you click one more time, and then you'll see this these handles here. So I'm just gonna put it like that, and I'm going to plus sign again the keyboard, and then let's see, I'm gonna move it like that, and then plus sign again your keyboard to duplicate without offset, and then go like this. So basically our <clears throat> our objective is just to fill up this part here. Okay. So click rotate um plus sign your keyboard again. I'm gonna move this here, rotate and uh let me see, probably we can do three more plus sign rotate here and uh, two more so probably here uh, rotate it again and then let's see okay, maybe one other one here click one more time to rotate say that's good and then probably the last one and then move it here okay so now we have all of these squares okay it's randomly you know on top of each other so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these squares and then I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to thicken the outline so I'm going to go here uh, double click on this and then the dialog box will show up right so this is how to control the thickness of the of the outline say six and then you can actually preview it here so 16 uh, i'm gonna go for 20 um uh, maybe 25 so i think 25 would could be good and then i'm going to click ok here so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna adjust this one so that this one will go inside of the photograph and then now i'm going to um in order to see the order like which one is on top and which one's on the bottom of the squares I'm, I have to fill it with something it's like some colors right so I'm, I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to uh, say gray click on the gray okay so you notice uh, if I if you notice this one this one is in the front right so I would make that to front so I click on that and then control uh, shift page up to go to the front and what else do we need to put it in front because that might be be uh, in order to see that probably i'm going to make this 
transparent just for now temporarily so that I can see if the eyes okay so so notice this one the eyes right so I'm just gonna move this and move it there okay so I'm going to remove the uh, the transparency again and okay so I'm I think I'm I'm ready to power clip it okay so in order to power clip I'm just going to I'm just gonna move this up here there so in order to power clip I'm going to select all of this first and I'm gonna move this out like this sorry I'm just gonna do some adjustments here so that it would look nice this one here uh, okay Okay, I think that's good. So I'm going to select all the squares, right? And then I'm going to combine it. So Control L for combine or click on this one here. Okay, so now it's combined. Sorry about that. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong move. So it's not combined. Uh, we, are, we are going to um, do a smart fill first. Okay, so we're going to go to, we're going to do a smart fill. So you click on the smart fill smart fill tool okay and then you're going to fill this with a color like that we're gonna fill this up because we're gonna combine this and then make this as a as a um uh, what do you call this we're gonna do that as a power clip so now i can um i'm gonna select all of this so click this power clip so power clip if i to explain power clip is that I fill it with a smart fill tool. Um, sorry, smart fill, not power clip. So the only this area will be uh, be uh, you know it would be one shape, right? So these are power clip already, and so hold down shift to select the other ones. Six. So I'm gonna select all the the smart fill, and then I'm just going to move it around so that I'll make sure that I got everything. Okay, so I got everything and then I'm going to move this here first. Uh, let's see, I'm going to zoom out first. Move this to, to this corner and I'm going to delete this because I don't need this anymore. And then I'm going to put this back here. Okay, so once you put that back, then you can, um, you can uh, combine this now. So I'm going to select all of that and then combine okay so once you combine right now you can click on the the picture so i'm gonna unlock it first so click on the photograph and then you go objects power clip place inside the frame and the frame is this whole thing which was combined right so click on that perfect so it's there right so now the only thing we need to do is we are going to thicken the outline. So double click here and then we'll make the outline white. And then we can go, I think 25 was the good uh, thickness. And then we need to click OK. Okay, so now we'll just borrow this one. I'm just gonna hit plus on your keyboard and just move it here. Okay, let's concentrate on this one now. So now that's your collage. But if you look at the original, it, there's like shadows there, right? Which, which, which is good so that, you know, the the collage, the photographs is like, um, it would stand out more. So we are going to do um, a drop shadow, but we can't do a drop shadow yet because this is all combined. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to objects and then uh, break power clip apart, curve apart. Okay, so now this is one separate one, right? I'm going to hit Control Z here to undo. Now we can apply uh, drop shadow. So you click on your drop shadow tool uh, and then say this one will uh, we'll click, oops, sorry. Select. So we have to select first. Uh, this is the first one you have to do the drop shadow, the center one, and then click and drag. 
Okay. Then you can adjust the drop shadow, for example, that one. Okay. And then, so for example, you want to add drop show shadow to this one. Uh, you can go to objects and then copy uh, drop shadow from, and then we'll click on this first one that we did. Okay. So then you can see that. Uh, I think it's a good idea to move this to front, this one. So uh, shift, uh, shift page up here. And then you can add drop shadows here. So we can do it manually if you want, so we can control it. So that one, and I would suggest put drop shadows on the outer squares. So it would, uh, it would, you know, so that the photos will, will stand out. Or it would add depth and this one here okay and the last one here yeah so it's a very simple effect and it's it was really quick right I did it really quickly in CorelDRAW and you've got a nice nice uh, photo collage so so that's all so I hope you liked it and uh, so basically the concept is create squares and after creating the squares make sure to you know to make sure that uh, this one is on top of the of all the other squares and then you combine it sorry not combine you power clip it okay sorry not power clip a smart fill okay so that you have individual uh, what do you call this uh, areas like this one this one is all power clip right if you if you really take a look these are power clips right control z control z control okay so hope you like it if you're not subscribed yet um uh you're welcome to subscribe uh and make sure to turn on the notification bell uh that would be a good one because then you'll be notified that i have a new a video uploaded or streamed and um, <clears throat> and uh, give me a like or comment on it if you like it if you didn't like it uh, that's fine uh, but I will stream live and I will see you tomorrow again bye for now